Hello, beautiful people, shalom, money makers. There's a crazy kind of tweet that came out from Vitalik Buterin uh, talking about something big that might be coming soon. We're going to talk about that. Also, the crypto market is dipping a little bit in the past few days. Why is there so much fear still in the market? And can Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, and the rest of the cryptos uh, hit a bottom and then recover? We're going to talk about all that. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile, click that like button, and let's stand straight into it. Pick it up. So in general, the crypto market has not had a great last 24 hours, down 4%. Uh, market cap is continuing to shrink here around 832 billion. You can see Ethereum down 5%, Bitcoin down 3%, BND, BNB down 4%, XRP down 7.6%, and good old Shiba Inu down minus 4.6%, holding its uh, level here at the 14th uh, biggest cryptocurrency in the world for Shiba Inu. Um, we saw Bitcoin break for a second, the 16,000 level, but it was able uh, to come back, right? You can see here, uh, it's kind of small, I know. <laughs> uh, it broke through the 16,000 level, came back. Shiba Inu also has been uh, kind of consolidating here after breaking the support level at 876. And we talked about this uh, last night that the next level here for Shiba Inu would be the 769 level. So we'll wait to see if that is something that uh, could potentially happen here for Shiba Inu uh, or is it something that uh, the crypto market has said enough is enough. Uh, but we are seeing tweets already from people saying that Bitcoin to 12,000 to 14,000 is a matter of time. Altcoin much lower 40 to 50 percent drop on average now we know that you know bitcoin and the crypto market had dropped in uh, 2018 uh, around 80 percent right if we go from the low to the high it's around 84 percent so so far right and this drop that we've had and all the things that have happened and everything that's going on it's 77 percent so meaning that the cryptocurrency market hasn't been uh, hit the same way it had been hit <laughs> back in 2018, right? And still, right, um, there could be more hurt to come, right? But you see the, the difference in the graphs. Now, of course, this is, uh, you know, a Binance graph. So, I mean, there's a lot less volume on Binance back then. But uh, the fact is the cryptocurrency was able to recover. Yes, there was a, a few things like the pandemic uh, that really helped and, you know, uh, everything that happened in 2020. But you can see here from the low to the high, to get back to the high, it took um, 24 weeks, right? So uh, less than a, uh, about a year and a half, right? It's 24 bars, so, but, so it's a weekly here, uh, 700 uh, days. So it took about, yeah, uh, a little bit more than two years from the low to the high. Now, this is a possibility that we could see happen again, right? Uh, it could happen about two years until it gets back to the all-time high. It all depends on the state of the economy, the state of the crypto market, and everything else that's happening uh, around the world. The whole FTX debacle has made us think to ourselves, am I diversified enough? Why is my whole portfolio getting hammered? Because maybe you're not diversified the right way. Sure, events like FTX are impossible to see coming, but it's not just that. See, Goldman Sachs released a shocking report just last month saying that the classic stock bond strategy won't be enough to keep investors afloat. It's down 34% this year alone, its worst performance in a whole century. As a result, Goldman says the idea allocation for stocks has shrunk from 60% to around 45%. So what do they recommend that you do with the difference in order to salvage those stolen returns? Invest in real assets, like art, for example. They say it can not only protect your purchasing power, but the last time inflation was this high, it appreciated more than real estate and even gold at an incredible 17.5% per year on average. Seriously, this is incredible. And it's why I've partnered with Masterworks. Just look at their results so far. Eight exits, five of them this year alone. The last three, over 17, 21, and 33% net returns. One of those was literally two weeks ago, 17.8%. 
As a result, Masterworks has to acquire and release more art on their platform to meet demand, and there is a waitlist. But you can skip that waitlist by just clicking the link in the description down below. Guys, alternatives like crypto and art are the future, so check out the link in the description down below. So Vitalik Buterin came out with a very interesting tweet, uh, maybe, you know, groundbreaking. Uh, he says here, I'm hearing through the grapevine that something important is about to happen. Please recognize the fact that my elite social connections to people who are early to know things make me cool <laughs> and please help me validate my self-image of coolness. Um, so <laughs> it's a funny tweet, but uh, the second part of it is kind of funny. But the first part is the interesting one. I am hearing through the grapevine that something important is about to happen. Now, does he mean on a world scale? Does he mean on a crypto scale, right? Could he know something about uh, some people were in the comments said, could it have to do with the Ukraine-Russia uh, situation? Um, you know, he's U Ukrainian in the, in the, you know, from his parents, if I remember correctly. Uh, does it have to do something with cryptocurrency? Something, uh, you know, he's a person with uh, how many followers does he have? 4.6 million followers. I don't think, right, he knows his stature, right? He's not, he's not a dumb dumb. He knows that if he tweets something like this people are going to be looking and anticipating that something big is going to happen uh, so it will be interesting to see if uh, this is really uh, something important or, or it's just you know another farce and it's just another uh, you know smoke being blown up our uh, <laughs> our in our faces and we'll see we'll see what happens uh, in the next few days many people are waiting to see if some of these companies, uh, you know, any more will, uh, you know, drop. Uh, we're seeing uh, like Coinbase and MicroStrategy bonds are going down, taking as FTX collapse, dense institutional confidence in crypto. Um, so, so that's not great, right? That the institutions are losing a little bit of confidence, but this is what happened. The same way that people uh, get hyped up on crypto when it's going up, uh, institutions, same kind of thing, right? The people that run the institutions are people at the end of the day. <clears throat> so when crypto is hot, institutions are going to be more interested. And when crypto is, you know, in a bearish market, they're going to be less interested. We're seeing that FTX owes their biggest creditors $3.1 billion. I don't know where they're going to get it, uh, but we're already seeing uh, companies and institutions coming out. Ripple, for example, is eyeing deals for FTX assets. Um, you know, they have some good assets, right? They have some good companies that they invested in. And so uh, people are going to try to scoop up and claim these uh, these good assets and try to take advantage of that, right? Uh, and so it'll be interesting to see how, what, what is going to get scooped up, who will get scooped up. Like we know, BlockFi was having issues and Celsius and Voyager, of course. Uh, I don't know if uh, Celsius said anything uh, this time around, but Voyager, I know that they said that they're basically in, in a bad situation as well. Um, so we'll see. Is somebody else going to come in and scoop it up? Will Binance come and scoop it up? I know they started that fund uh, to create money for people that have been hurt uh, from this uh, cryptocurrency uh, drop. Um, so, so we'll see if that is going to uh, affect anything or not. Um, even the stock market, you know, Goldman Sachs is coming out and saying the bear market is not over. We've talked about the fact that the stock market has had a great uh, little bit of recovery here and uh, the, the crypto market, you can see the greed, it's in the greed so zone. Uh, and this, the crypto market should have had a run if we wouldn't have had this whole FTX debacle, right? Uh, crypto and the stock market were moving more or less in the same kind of uh, parallel movement, more or less, I'm saying, right? In, in a broader uh, idea here uh, with, you know, interest rates and CPI data, and they were moving kind of in tandem more or less, right? Not not one to one. The Bitcoin was in, in the crypto market was consolidating while stock market was tanking for a while, right? Uh, and then FTX s situation happened and it opened a can of worms. Uh, and so the crypto market dropped. But I think that it's not that bad. Uh, it, it could be because I think it's not that bad yet. We could see a little bit more hurt. So I just want you guys to be ready for that, right? If we see hurt, have a, have a plan in place. I, I can't tell you what to do. You have to do whatever your heart desires, what your plan is, uh, but it, it's going to be interesting. So just be ready for that scenario. That's I'm going to put that out there that we talked about that, that we do get Bitcoin to 12,000, 14,000 and altcoins drop another 40, 50%. For Shiba Inu, for example, that could mean to the 500 uh, range, right? What happens if Shiba Inu gets to 500? 
Think about that, right? What, what, where do you, what do you, what is your plan, right? What is your plan if Bitcoin gets to uh, 12,000, 13,000? What's your plan if Ethereum gets to 800, 700, right? So put that in the back of your mind and just think about it, right? What's your plan? Could be sell, right? Could be buy. I don't know. Uh, this is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest, of course. Uh, but it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how this is going to play out. Guys, don't forget to smash the like button. Uh, check out the links in the description down below. Check out Masterworks, of course. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.